Hello and welcome on my tutorial on how to engage your students using Zoom. So you'll notice that I am a pickle right now, which is amazing in every way for every little kid. And I can quickly change to some other filters here that could potentially be fun for your students. And um, there's also this one, which makes you look like you have makeup on. You may also be thinking about screen recording and how do I create lessons. I am actually just recording myself within Zoom. So you can just open Zoom by yourself and hit record and create your lessons within Zoom. So I am now gonna hit share screen so I can show you some of the places where I got the filters and one other fun tool if you are using Google Slides or any kind of websites while you're teaching. So here's my screen share. Go to Google and search snap camera because that to me is the easiest way to find it. You'll notice my cursor here is changing Ninja Turtle. I have a first grader who absolutely is obsessed with Ninja Turtles. Um, so if I were working with him, I would, or my class, I would definitely want to use some fun cursors. And I'm going to show you that in just a second, but let's stay focused on the snap camera. So I'm going to go to snap camera, and this is something that you have to download on your computer. It does work for Mac or PC, so no issues there. Um, you'll just go to their website and you'll click the download button. Once you click the download button, it will show you their terms of service and you'll need to agree to that. So you can check out license agreement. I have read, and then you will choose download for Mac or download for PC. Um, so basically anything that's not a MacBook, if you don't have a MacBook, your PC. So you'll download that. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, and then I'm gonna show you how to use the filters. This is the main screen of Snap Camera. Now, this is something that I have learned because I kept having issues with Snap Camera not working. And so I wanna tell you that you have to open Snap Camera and get it running before you join your Zoom meeting. That's really important. I have learned that. Um, another thing that's important is the little gear icon up here in the right hand corner. When you tap that is when you can adjust your camera settings. So if you're wanting to use your rear or front camera, you can adjust it there. Um, and then also down here, um, you can um, set some uh, hotkeys. So I turned this on so that I can turn my snap camera off while I'm in a Zoom meeting without opening this up. Um, sometimes the snap keys or the short key, shortcut keys don't work great, but it's sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. Um, these are all the filters you can choose from. So there's some created by people or there you can look in these categories, um, but lots of different filters to choose from. Um, if you hit the little star in the corner, it will go into your favorites. And I like doing that because I have some that I really like and I have tested out. And so I have a quick grab. So if I tap on my favorites here, these are some of my favorites that I have. Um, and if you want to create shortcut keys, you tap on this little keyboard and tap in the box. So if I want to create a hotkey for the ice cream earrings and I want them to show up um, without opening this program, I can maybe control I. I could probably remember that for ice cream and I'm going to click save. Now, when I'm out of this, I'm going to exit out. I can on my keyboard, hold down control I and it will automatically change to those ice cream earrings. I also have um, this one set up, Control G is my glam, um, and then I can go back to my makeup one right here. So just awesome, quick ways to switch. Um, and as you get better and you, you memorize those hotkeys, you can switch um, during your Zoom meeting seamlessly. So now we're going to get to that other piece, which was the cursors, the custom cursors. So where I got my Ninja Turtle from. So if you are doing a lesson within a web browser, you can use this custom cursor because it's a Google extension. Now you would have to be in Google Chrome for this to work. Um, but if, I'm, if I've got my slides or my lesson in Google Slides or any website that I'm using, I'm reading something on ReadWorks or pretty much anything in Google Chrome that I'm showing my students, I can use these custom cursors. So let's just say I'm in here and I'm creating, doing something with my students. I want to catch their attention. I can create a fun cursor, add a fun cursor. So let's go over to Google and just search custom cursors. And the first thing that pops up is this um, Chrome extension. Once it opens up, you will see that you can just add it. Now mine says remove because I already have this, but you can click add to add as an extension and then it will be downloaded in here. 
Now, if you look up at my screen, it's right up here in the corner. It becomes this kind of colorful cursor up there and I can change my cursor while I'm working. So if I go up here, I can see what is available. Um, I downloaded specifically one Pokemon because I have um, a little guy in my class who also loves Pokemon. So I can just switch it right away. And now I have Pokemon Pikachu um, for my cursor. So just kind of another fun way to engage your students. Um, simple, free, and easy in my opinion. So again, screencasting, you can just do it right inside Zoom. Um, and then using some other tips and tricks like the snap camera and the fun cursors, you can really engage your students and kind of find some fun ways to make learning fun online. So thanks for joining me and I hope you uh, have fun with your snap camera.